All right, here we go. Big Daddy Shit. Day 1072 at the park. So, uh, one of my friends, John, right? Uh, he's not watching this, but it's like, you know, he said, oh, I got to, you know, I got to do this thing and sell all these things, whatever. And I felt bad, right? And then so I sent him a message, dude, what's your PayPal? I'll, I'll send you some money. I don't need to buy any of this stuff. He's oh no no, it was a bad joke. Okay, thanks man. But <laughs> at least you know I had your back. So what happened is he's one of my buddies that I used to play Xbox with. You know, like maybe like fifteen years ago, right? And these are the days where I used to play for like six hours a day. And I mean, I mean, it's funny because. We're all strangers, but we knew we were like all best friends because we'd see each other every day, talk about the different things and stuff and play Call of Duty, shipment shuffle, all that kind of stuff, right? He's all, oh, yeah, man, you know, they just got shipment, the thing. Because I told him it was some of the most funnest times. And then, uh, uh, you know, all these dudes, they have like families and stuff. I'm the same dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... What happens he's all, oh, yeah, you know, you got to get the Xbox One and stuff like that. And I was thinking about it. And, you know, I know that the uh, PlayStation 5's out now. I'm like, oh, my gosh. I, I just have a Xbox 360. But then, you know, I was looking at different things. And then uh, PlayStation 5, I think it's like $600. I go, oh, my gosh. That's for a video game system. That's going to, like, drain a lot of energy out of me. And then I know Xbox One, it's like probably 300 bucks, I don't know, but it, it's like, a, a, you know, all these different things that to spend money on and play games, I mean, I got the computer system where I could play that one game online or whatever, but, you know, it comes down to what you spend your money on, the thing is, for me, what's more important than that is, uh, I started seeing a bunch of wood chips on my floor. I'm like, what is all this stuff? This is bad. And I realized that my chair, as comfortable as it is, it's breaking down. So all these wood chips were for like from the bottom of my chair. And then so I realized because I'm a heavy dude, and when I tilt the dirt's different sides, whatever, it like leans to one side. And then now it feels like my chair is balancing on like just the pull. So you gotta keep your balance to be able to be on the chair. I'm like, okay, I it's time to get a new chair. So what I did was I look online and then I can't believe how many choices on chairs you could possibly have, okay? Now, the other day I was at the store with Jill in at Costco and they had this one for sale for 120 bucks. It's normally 160. A video game person chair, so it's pretty comfortable. But when I sat in it, I'm like, I don't know. It's just, it just doesn't feel like, you know, woo, you know, it just doesn't call out to me, but it was comfortable. But then hold on. I, I got to use the restroom. All right. So back to the little chair thing. It's like, you know, I go on Amazon. Okay. Go look for, you know, uh, office chair, best office chair. Best office chair for fat people. Best office chair for heavy people. Whatever. And it points to these certain ones. They're like, you know, maybe like $150, $200. And I'm like, oh, wow, that looks super comfortable. Right? And then so I look at it. And then a lot of the reviews, you know, it's usually like four, four and a half star or whatever. But then a lot of the reviews are either, oh, this is the most comfortable chair ever. I'm this much, whatever. And then and then you say the next one, oh, this, this chair sucks. Save your money. It broke down after a couple you know, days, I'm going, oh my gosh, so I'm looking on the internet for all the different types of chairs, and there's so many to choose from, and you have no idea which one you get, a lot of people are talking about they buy it, and they return it, because it sucks, or whatever, and, or some people enjoy the chairs, but thing is, for me being a big guy, I had to figure things out, so when I was looking at these different reviews, right, I mean, okay, now I called back Costco thinking like, okay, you know, 120 bucks, okay, chair's a chair, 
just 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 buy the chair that was on sale but no that sales over so now it's back to 169 dollars and it's uh sold out so i'm like okay so i look at the different stuff office depot has one there's some brand the shack chair so i guess he endorses it it's like probably some really huge chair right but even the reviews are talking about they're good but they're not the end all but then they're talking about yeah it's no herman williams chair I'm like herman williams what is this so i look it up turns out these chairs eight hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars i'm going oh my gosh for a freaking office chair but i'm looking at the reviews and i'm like oh okay it looks pretty good and whatever and then you know it's like doesn't matter what size you are they have a chair just for you and then uh so now when you get to that point and you see something like that most of after the more you want it and yeah you know i try to look up the different clones of this stuff but you know there's no good clones of this one so it's like okay i figure if it's brand new that well maybe i could find a used one i go look on offer up and then they had ones for like 500 dollars you know for the basic chair i'm like this is horrible <laughs> right so you got to find out which one of these people selling a used one is the one that you want to go buy from i'm like this is this is horrible and then i saw one oh three hundred dollars and then they go oh no but for the size you want it's five hundred dollars so i was pissed but the one that i wanted was the one that was like fifteen hundred dollars but thing is it's too expensive I'm thinking about that video game system for, you know, $600. So it's like, okay, do you get a chair or a video game system? I mean, it's an easy choice. It's, it's you, you want to get the uh, chair, something useful. Because, okay, since I am a virtual academy teacher, and then I'm on the phone, computer, and I'm going to be sitting in that chair for a very long time, you know, indefinitely. I need to get a sweet chair. So I gave up on the search. I'm like, okay, this sucks, whatever, okay. But what I did was I, I uh, uh, called Living Spaces of all places, because I know that they're a good company. They're a great company, actually. And I talked to the lady, and I said, yeah, I need a pretty sweet office chair. Pretty big dude. And this she's like, oh, well, we don't have that. And, um, you know, you have to go somewhere else for that. I go, do you have any idea? And then, see, this is how cool that person was. Of course they don't want to, like, send you to another place. But she said, yeah, you know, depending on how much you wanted to spend. There's the Han brand, H-O-N. There's uh, this other brand. You know, all this stuff. But she said, oh, yeah. And then there's also, there's... Uh, yeah, the, the Herman Williams one. I'm like, oh, okay. And then she, so what, do I go to Office Depot and stuff? She goes, ah, oh, you know what? There's one store called Court. Court. So yeah, that, that's a place where when offices upgrade, they donate their stuff to this company and they sell it. So it's like a goodwill for, for uh, uh, off shield. Yeah, well, essentially, yeah, but they all give top-notch stuff. I'm like, Okay, whatever. So I ended up calling the one in close to my place, but turns out they're not open anymore. So uh, uh, it, it referred me to the one in Fountain Valley. And so I meet the guy, his name's Jimmy, right? Well, it said James, whatever, but he's Jimmy. And then, uh, um, you know, he's telling me he's like 6'1, 350 pounds. And, you know, he really likes that, that one chair. And uh, there's different options. And then the one that other people sell for 500, they're gonna sell for 450. I'm like, okay, I guess at least I could go there and actually, I could go and uh, uh, test it out, right? He said, yeah, and then there's another one called Ergo Body. Yeah, you can check all of them out. Okay, cool, and I look it up online ago oh my gosh that's a fifteen hundred dollar one and he's gonna sell for eight hundred so i'm like okay let's go 
So I went there. I probably had one of the greatest experiences with uh, testing out a chair. Because I try to do things because thinking if I'm going to like tip over and all whatever. And then uh, um, turns out that these chairs so far feels like it's worth every penny. Because I tried to tilt on the side to side. It's built really sturdy. And then they have 12 year warranties for the manufacturer. And this one, since it was only two years old, it was a two year old chair. I have 10 more years that are legit from the warranty place. I'm like, oh, okay. So 10 years and then, you know, there's a, a you know, I just, I just had to just think and weigh in. And I tried the other chairs that they had. They were nice chairs, don't get me wrong. But it's like me and my whole name brand thing. It's like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna bite the bullet. Just because this is like almost 50% off. I looked at all the things like offer up and all that stuff. People are selling this chair for like $1,000. And uh, you get a two month full money back guarantee. I'm like, okay. I want to try it out. It's just like, you know, when I got my shoes, right? So I decided, all right, bite the bullet, bought it. Now, the thing is, everything about this is amazing so far. It's still in my car. I did not get to use it yet. I just can't wait. But I know that uh, one of the best biggest things about it is like the lumbar support the lumbar it goes it adjusts and it starts to get thicker or smaller depend on how you adjust it and you could adjust how high or low it goes and uh, that feels really good so when I sat on it it adjusted where it's like I sit it just felt perfect it felt like there's like a like a jello mold of my body on the back already I'm like oh wow and then when you tilt back, the seat stays the same, but then it moves back and then at the lower part, and then it could bend another way back on top of that. Or you can lock it and you can adjust to whichever your seat goes. I'm like, oh, okay. And also, you know, the front part of the seat where underneath your knees, you could make that longer or shorter depending how long your legs are. I'm like, oh my gosh. And, and you know, the swivel is good. There's no tilt. And then so, uh, you know, that, that, that was really good. And so I'm like, okay, you know what? Gotta do it. Because just like how I had that thing about like, you know, you wanna buy shoes to like fit your body. So those Hoka shoes are like one of the greatest investments I ever bought. But now I'm in, more often than being in my shoes every day, I'm in my chair every day, hours. Shoes, I'll be in it for like maybe like an hour or two or whatever, right? But this one, it's, I'm in that chair for a long period of time. So that's why I figure, okay, you know what? I have to, uh, uh, I have to uh, get it. So I think, I think it's gonna pay off in the long run, this whole comfort factor, but it'll help me out on my posture, hopefully, right? And then it'll help on, uh, well, just comfort level. You know, because if I'm gonna be sitting on there for a long time, I don't know how the, the padding is or whatever, but it's one of those, it's not a pure mesh padding. Like, you know, like I guess if some of those chairs, instead of having leather, they have like those mesh, so it, it breathes. And uh, uh, so so if you sweat, you know, you're, you're gonna be comfortable. But I usually have my air conditioner on anyway. But, it's one of those things where I, I've been one of the people that like just get stuff that like, 
you know, like just, just, that's good enough. And like, you know, just, just, I could have got like a hundred dollar chair, which, you know, sounds like a lot, but you know, maybe comfort factor, maybe screws up my alignment or whatever. I mean, I just wanted some chair that was just, just going to be comfortable like a throne, you know, but the reviews don't lie. A lot of the big things feel, like, oh, it's too expensive, too expensive. It's, I get it. But it's like those people eating all those organic ingredients and stuff. It's more expensive, but it's supposed to be better for you. So this one, you know, I feel that when it comes to your body, you need to invest in it. Now, I'm not saying, you know, everybody go out and run and get this chair. It's just, uh, um, for me, my size, and then on how much time that I actually spend on an actual chair, I have to weigh in how cost effective it is, you know? And then, so this one, I'm using it every day. So that's why I figured the values there. It's only worth it. So, I don't know. A lot, lot of thought went, a lot of thought went to buying this chair. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not just doing a spontaneous purchase, you know? Go like, you know, like if someone said, hey, why don't you buy this thing? Because it's going to, it's a good chair. Oh, it's only $800? Oh, yeah, sure. No, you gotta research it. You know, same thing like when Harold was telling me, okay, you need this for your computer, you need this, 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 this. And what did I do? I bought the different thing. And what did that do? It screwed it up. And uh, he was a good sport about it. But I had to end up returning that stuff and buying the one he told me in the first place. And so now I have a computer that's like top of the line, right? So it's like when it comes to your job, when it comes to your body, you just got to pamper yourself. Why not, right? Okay, anyways. Oh, yeah, just an update on things. Looks like I'm going to start house hunting again. Why not? I mean... I'm, I don't know, like mortgage or the mortgage rates are really low or the loan rates are really low. Prices are like, okay, but it just comes down to, uh, I don't know. I gotta have space to put my exercise machine, my new chair, all that kind of stuff. But that's going to be one of the things that I'm going to be t targeting once I settle down a bit. But now that my first semester of being a virtual academy teacher is almost done, I'll have more time to, do, to think about these things. Alright, there you go. Day 1072 in the books. So yeah, I can't wait to go home and try this chair. I know, it's like... <laughs> I don't know how old I'm getting when I'm actually excited about just getting this chair that I'm just going to be sitting in. I remember it's like going to Fedco with my mom and I get a new video game on the Atari. Ooh, Space Invaders. Mom, I can't wait till I go home. Thank you, Mom. It was like the greatest thing ever. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate those memories. But, um, yeah, I remember I was telling the dude, Jimmy, I'm like, yeah, you know what? I've been reading about this chair and I've been thinking about it and like, you know, it's like, oh man, this chair is going to be everything. And you know, like, you know, when you're, you're a kid and you see something in a magazine and you, you, you mail in for it and you're waiting, 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 same thing with Amazon, you're waiting and you get it and it sucks. This one, I don't think it's going to suck. I think it's actually pretty good. So anyways, I'm excited. I think it's Big Daddy Shan day 1072. If I exercise 1,072 days in a row, you can exercise 1,072 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. Treating yourself.